What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here, welcome back to Fan Freaking. Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy tutorial on how to change a shift shaft seal on a motorcycle. Now, these are pretty much universal. You can do this on pretty much any motorcycle. There's two bolts uh, that are holding on the clamp. You're going to want to take those completely off. And uh, as you see there, I marked the clamp so I know exactly where to put everything back. That is important for the reassembly of it because you don't want to have to mess with your shifter cable and find the sweet spot <laughs> in all of that. There's one more bolt that is uh, holding down the shift shaft seal. You're going to want to loosen that. I don't recommend taking it off completely. Um, most of them uh, are clamped, so you could just loosen it up to get that baby right off of there. Um, and then I used a, a wrench to kind of pry it off because the gear was a little bit hard and it's a really tight space. Um, but as you guys can see there, got everything off. Everything is good to go. Now the point in the biggest issue that I had was getting out the shift shaft seal itself. Some of them, they stick out a little bit, but others are deep down in there, and mine was deep down in there. So I just wanted to double check the part number, and the part number is printed or stamped on your new part, and it should be stamped on the old part as well. So make sure that seal has the same matching number before you go and do anything, because you don't want to be halfway through and then realize you get the wrong part. So make sure you get the right part. Uh, mine came directly from Suzuki. Uh, this is honestly the hardest part, getting out the shift shaft seal. Um, I had some difficulty thanks to YouTube editing. You don't have to witness all of my headaches. Um, but I just basically used a flathead screwdriver to pry it out. And um, it took some time, but I did it. I didn't want to use a screw or any other method that other people did because I don't want to damage the inside right there. As you guys can see, that's the inside and what it looks like. And I'm just double checking the part right now to make sure that everything matches up. Sometimes um, there could be a little bit of a difference even though this part's coming directly from Suzuki. The next part is to put it back in. Now, this part is a little bit difficult too because it fits really snug. Uh, what I did was I used the old shift shaft seal and placed it on top of the other one to kind of push it in to place without damaging the old one. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to put everything back together. Um, it's pretty easy, especially if you mark everything where it needs to go, then you can put it back exactly the way you had it. Um, once everything is completed, you make sure that your seal is properly in place and you have enough oil, um, you're going to want to test it out. So here we go. Started up the motorcycle and right now it's in neutral. I'm going to pop it into first gear in just a second. Um, but then I realized that I didn't have the kickstand up. Um, so we don't want to stall the bike. All right, now we're in gear. Everything feels smooth and the the shifter is in the right place. Um, so I didn't have to do any adjustments. If you do have to do adjustments after you put it on um, and for whatever reason you can't find the markings um, because they can come off while you're working on it, um, try to put it back in the same exact spot. I recommend taking a picture of it before you disassemble it. Um, but there's adjustments on the bottom of the wire and then on the top of the clutch itself as well. So you have a little bit of play to mess around with things. Um, I just wanted to double check and make sure that everything is back in place and back in order. Um, I did a test ride on it and everything is good. Um, I even took it on the freeway because I noticed that I only had a leak when I was going uh, high speeds. There you guys go. There's the old shift shaft seal. We are done. Oh man, it took me about an hour to do it. I know the next time if I have to do it, it'll probably take me about like 15 minutes to be completely honest. But like I said, the most difficult part is getting that shift shaft seal out of there. I know some other motorcycles uh, may sit a little bit higher and it's easier to take out. Um, but this one, you know, it was a little bit more difficult. So if this video helped you guys out at all, please make sure to hit a like. If you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. We got more motorcycle vlogs coming your way. We got some uh, 
repair tips as well um, because my motorcycle is a 2005 so there are going to be some issues with it in the near future um, isn't it weird like you're not sitting on your motorcycle so it's like where's the kickstand anyways thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one